What three baits should you use in the month of November? That's what we're gonna talk about right now. So these three baits you can use anywhere, but I know the Northern states, you are getting really cold right now. The fall is in full effect. That transition is happening. You're having cold days and nights. The middle of the country, we are seeing some colder evenings. It's still a little bit warm in the day, but it has a, the fall transi transition is happening. And then down here, we're seeing colder nights, but it's still pretty warm. But these three baits you can use anywhere unless it's just flat out snowing and you have ice. If you have that, I'm sorry. The first thing you need to remember, it's November and we need to use the weather to our advantage. When the days are warmer, we need to get, we need to fish that upper water column. What's happening now is bass are going to be looking upwards to feed. Why? Because the, the upper water column might be just a little bit warmer than down below. Now, it doesn't mean you can't catch them down deep, but right now, it's all about fishing a column of water that's just slightly warmer than the, de down, the stuff down deep. If you're in 10 or 15 feet of water, you need to fish 8 foot. If you're in 6 to 8 foot, you need to fish 2 foot. This is going to help you catch more fish. These fish are starting to get lethargic, but they're eating everything. They want shad. They want anything that they can eat, but they're not searching on the bottom of the seafloor for crawfish or crayfish, however you want to say it. They are they're actively looking for fish that are going to swim by them and they don't have to do a lot of work. It's the time of year where they're just trying to get as much fat on them as possible. So while you can catch them with soft plastics, especially a fluke this time of year, right now I am focusing on hard baits, hard shallow water crankbaits, hard top water baits, hard spinner baits. Those are the things I'm gonna use right now because that's what they're gonna target. They're still looking for shad. They're looking for active shad that are gonna stay in that upper water column. They're not gonna get deep. They're gonna, those shad are gonna be on the top trying to keep warm and those bass will hide in a little bit deeper water and ambush upwards. They're not going down. They're always looking up. So you need to keep that in your mind as you fish because if your bottom bouncing and dropping, it doesn't mean you're not gonna catch them, but you're not gonna catch them as well as you will if you're using something that's moving and in that upper water column. So if you live in those places where you have a lot of uh, backwater creeks, shad will be in there right now and as the water drops, they're gonna come out. And those are ambush points you need to focus on and have the right baits to catch them. Your shallow water crankbaits, your top water, and those things will be very effective right now because bass are looking at shad to eat. It's starting off with a good top water. And in this one, and you can use whatever you want, I want something that's just going to walk. I just want it to walk on top of it. I want it to make a little bit of noise and I want it to just walk side to side. This is a loop knot on here. Now the reason why I have a loop knot on here is because when I use a top water, I was always taught that the loop knot gives the bait a little bit more action. Now it doesn't mean that you can't tie it directly to braid or just direct with a Palomar knot or whatever knot you're, you're confident in. But a loop knot allows that bait to just move a little bit more as it glides. And we're not moving this bait really fast this time of year. We want to look like a wounded shad. So we're going to move it at a moderate pace, but at times we're going to pause. So number one, top water, wake bait. My number two bait for the month is a shallow water jerk bait or crankbait. I want something that's chromish, even though I don't believe in color and I know everyone else does. Uh, I do want something that is somewhat the same color as what I'm, I'm using. When you have dirty water, the chrome color looks good because it can get a little shine off of it. But I want a, a shallow water jerk bait or suspending twitch bait or crank bait this time of month that has a little bit of sound, that has good hooks, and that will catch fish. I just want to be able to cast that and reel it back in. Right now there's a lot of places that don't have a lot of uh, grass. 
down here we still have a lot of grass but in that middle of the country you're not finding as much grass if you find it fish it but i want to be able to fish this in the upper water column and just cast make some twitches every now and then pause it every now and then it doesn't mean you have to cast and just burn it in cast it reel it in for a minute twitch it stop it pause it you're going to find that a lot of bass will eat on that pause they'll come from below and just inhale it on top so make the fish look erratic make it look like it's a dying shad a dying shad will spin and stop it has to it, it knows what's happening it knows it's dying it doesn't move super fast out of the way it pauses so use that to your advantage and pause it but that's my number two bait suspect ow that hurt a suspending jerk bait and hopefully I'm not bleeding my number three bait for the month is a spinner bait this is the new spinner bait from Berkeley called the power blade made by my boy Edwin Evers has that Mac scent or that power bait scent in the uh, the hand tied skirt and I haven't used this yet but I believe it's gonna be amazing it's a uh, uh, got big blades but right now that is going to imitate a shad it's going to look like a little group of shad you can keep that bait on the upper water column you can fish it fast you can fish it slow i like to cast a spinner bait and then reel 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 and then at some point either speed up my retrieval or stop it for just a millisecond that blade will go like this and then as you pause it or speed it up it'll and it'll stop for a second and as that blade stops or makes a different motion or different speed variation a bass will attack it they feel that vibration on their lateral line and out of nowhere if it stops or if it changes pace they they give you a reaction strike all the time a spinner bait is a great bait this time of month this is a bait that you can use year-round but as these colder months happen a spinner bait is crucial in your arsenal of tackle so my third bait is a spinner bait so with your baits make sure you're confident in what you're using these ones i don't really know all the the brands of it i know the berkeley one because it's still in the box but the other ones i use because i'm confident with those lures you have to have confidence in the lure that you're using if you don't you won't fish it properly so if there's a certain brand or a certain model or a certain lure that you like that's a top water that walks the dog well or there's a certain jerk bait that you like better than the others use those you don't need to go out and buy more tackle if you have it and you're confident in it in it use it use that top water use that shallow water diving bait crank bait or jerk bait and then use whatever spinner bait you feel confident in because really a spinner bait or even a buzz bait's great this time of year so i hope this helps you catch more fish if you've watched this long i hope you've hit that like and subscribe button really you don't need to hit the like button but hit the subscribe button it really does help the channel remember take a kid fishing get your fish on good luck in the month of november and thank you cheers